Here's a look at an actual project. This was a piece that I designed. It was printed on a metallic substrate with print to register holography. The first step was to provide a concept to the holographics lab. Alternatively, you could provide a creative brief along with any relevant files or brand standards and have the holographics lab handle the creative. In this case, I provided a Photoshop file that was layered, and it's always a good idea to retain any vector data for your text or objects that makes the holography process a lot smoother. Once they got the file and reviewed it, we were able to get together and I explained my goals to them, and they had some great ideas about how holography could enhance my project. Uh, the wood grain presented a nice opportunity for some light refracting imagery, and we discussed how opaque whites would be masking out certain parts of the metallic and holography substrate. The next step is actual creation of the holograph, and there are many different ways to create a holograph. The most common one that we think of is 3D object mapping, where you take something like a dime and you render it from different angles so that it takes on the appearance of, of the three-dimensional object. To achieve the greatest impact for this project, we decided on 2D holography. You can see on screen the digital rendering that's based on my overprint art. The rainbow colors represent light bending at different angles. Next up, you'll see the digital overlays. This is an Adobe file that contains all the layers of the artwork concept, the holography layer on the bottom, followed by the opaque whites, and then finally, sandwiched on top, is the overprint art. Virtual proofs are a neat way to preview what your image or packaging will look like as it's hit by light at different angles. Here are some other virtual samples. You see the holography layer followed by an overprint layer. On some of these, you can see that the holography itself um, takes more center stage and the print layer is a little bit more subdued so that it, it, sometimes it's nice to just let the holography do the heavy lifting in terms of impact. The great part of this origination process is the holographic proof with overlay. This really takes the guesswork out of the process and gives you a very accurate representation of what your final piece will look like. Here you see the holography actually being micro-embossed into the substrate, and that serves as, as the basis of the overlay then that comes with an acetate layer with opaque white on the bottom and your overprint on the top so that when it's sandwiched on top of the holography, you get a very accurate representation of what your piece will look like. This is the point where you can really refine your artwork and the holography to the point where, where you're very happy with it. Here are some other examples. This is a fragrance package. You see the flowers in holographic form, and then you'll see the opaque white here on the acetate layer on the underside of it, and you can see through that the overprinting shows through. And then when you close the whole thing up, you see how the flowers themselves are registered to that overprint artwork. Here's a tobacco package with a very um, simple design of undulating waves, and you see how on the overlay there was uh, varying opacities of white. The next step, once the art is approved, is to get your files to the printer, and then the printer will go ahead and give the holography lab an imposed press sheet layout. You see ours is four up. 
so that we'll get four packages out of that sheet. And it's that imposed press sheet layout that the holography lab then uses to create the substrate. So this is basically the blueprint for the substrate where you have the four packages laid out in holographic format. And lastly, the holographic master is converted into a film, a paper, or paperboard. To ensure excellent registration, it's a great idea for printers to wait to plate a job until they receive the substrate, because there is very minor warping that can occur during manufacture, although ITW Foils has a very stable product. Here's the final printed paperboard. The inks lay down beautifully and brightly on the metallic substrate. And as a designer, I was pleased that what I saw was very much what I expected based on the proofs I had seen. I felt like the origination process, particularly the holographic proof overlays, really did take the guesswork out of the holography process and put me in control. Um, I also feel like I now have a new tool that will distinguish me as a designer.